Hello and welcome to the answer series Grade 12 Maths Literacy video on Higher Purchase Agreements. In order to work through this module, you need to have the skills to be able to work with percentages, understand financial terminology, and understand and calculate simple interest. Should you need a refresher on your skills, you can turn to your Grade 12 Maths Literacy 3-in-1 book for percentages see page 20, for interest, page 89. The aim of higher purchase agreements is to understand the concept of higher purchase and to be able to calculate the deposit, outstanding balance, total repayment amount, and monthly installments. Higher purchase agreements are used when customers don't have the full cash amount to purchase a product. This is usually for appliances such as TVs, fridges, washing machines, etc., as well as cars. The customer will put down a deposit and the formula we use is deposit is equal to a percentage times by the cash price. The customer will then repay the outstanding balance plus simple interest that has accrued. So remember, you can only be charged interest on the amount you haven't paid. So the formula we use for the repayment amount, it's equal to the outstanding balance plus the interest. In order to calculate our outstanding balance, we will take our cash price and minus the deposit from it. Then our repayment amount is then paid in monthly installments over a repayment period. The general formula, monthly installments is equal to the repayment amount divided by the number of months. Let's look at a worked example. Jan buys a TV with 5,299 Rand. He puts down a 10% deposit, repays the balance over three years at a simple interest rate of 12% per annum determine Yen's monthly installments. So again, we write down our key facts, our cash price, our deposit, our repayment term, and our interest rate. Note it is simple interest only for higher purchase. The general method that we will be using is to first determine my deposit, the outstanding balance, because the simple interest is then calculated on the outstanding balance, the repayment amount, which includes our interest, the repayment period, which is in months, and lastly, the monthly installment. So let's use this method to answer our question. Again, the key facts are up top here, so we can refer to them. The deposit is equal to, we said, the percentage times by the cash price. There's my general formula. Let's fill in our values. Our 10% deposit percentage times by our cash price, 5,299 Rand, gives me 529 Rand and 90 cents. Then our outstanding balance is our cash price minus the deposit. So we have a cash price of 5,299 Rand minus the deposit, which we just calculated above, 529 Rand and 90 cents, and that gives me 4,769 Rand and 10 cents. Then our simple interest is our interest rate, which is 12% per annum, times by the outstanding balance we just calculated above, 4,769 Rand and 10 cents times by the repayment term, which is three years. So this gives me a simple interest of 1,716 Rand and 88 cents. Let's keep going. Everything that we have calculated and the key facts is summarized up here for a reference. Let's calculate our repayment amount. Repayment amount is the cash price minus the deposit plus the interest. 
So we have cash price 5,299 minus our deposit 529 rand and 90 cents plus the interest that is accrued and we have calculated it as 1,716 rand and 88 cents. That gives me a repayment amount of 6,485 rand and 98 cents. Then our repayment period, this is the number of years times by the month. So we have got three years times by 12 months gives us a repayment period of 36 months. Our last step is to now determine our monthly installments, which is our repayment amount divided by the number of months. Our repayment amount we calculated above here 6,485 Rand and 98 cents divided by the number of months 36 months and that gives me a total of 180 Rand and 17 cents per month. So we've answered our question that is Jan's monthly instalment to buy his TV. Let us practice. Turn to page 92 in your answer series Grade 12 Maths Literacy 3 in 1 book. Worked examples, higher purchase agreements. Pause the video, complete the worked example, and when you're ready, play to work through the answers and see tips. So the question asks to calculate the monthly installments. The key facts of the question. Amanda with 142,000 Rand, 15% deposit, four years repayment term, 12,5% simple interest. Let's work through it. Our deposit is equal to 15% times by the cash price, 142,000 Rand, gives me 21,300 Rand. Our outstanding balance is then equal to our cash price, let's fill it in here, minus the deposit, which gives me an outstanding balance of 120,700 Rand. Then our interest that is charged. So the interest is our interest rate times by our outstanding balance times by our repayment term. And that gives us 60,350 Rand. Therefore, to calculate our total repayment amount, it is our outstanding balance plus our interest to give us 181,050 Rand. Lastly, our monthly instalment is our total repayment amount divided by the number of months. So you can see we've converted four years to months and that gives us a total of 3,771 Rand and 88 cents. So now that we've completed the exercise on higher purchase agreements, it's time to test your understanding. Consolidate your understanding by practice, write down the key facts, check that your answer makes sense and that you've answered your question. So let's do it. Turn to page 92, complete question 4 and you can check your answers on page A15. Thank you for joining us for this Grade 12 Maths Literacy video. We here at the Answer Series look forward to guiding you through the rest of your Grade 12 Maths Literacy curriculum. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.